Hello everyone, I'm Mark91 and welcome back to Sanzara the Hidden Portal. Uh, why You might ask why I'm back with this game. Uh, that's because uh, in my original Let's Show video, I didn't really get to show all that much of gameplay, or well, other gameplay uh, than the adventure bits and walking around and the intro. So uh, I'm making a what Let's... Next? <laughs> yeah, idle conversation. Uh, so, uh... And welcome to Let's Show More of Sanzara. Uh, where we are, this is Lucius's ca cottage. Yeah, Lucius is in, uh, well, is and was in charge of guarding the pixies, some tiny trolls that keep, uh, are causing problems throughout yeah, Sanzara. Uh, in this casket, we find a little bag with a silver sphere, which is kind of like a Pokeball in this game. <coughs> Yeah, Lucius will uh, reward you for every five pixies you catch, and this little guy, weird guy, the magic merchant, will sell uh, active and passive spells to you, but he won't uh, sell you to them directly. He will create a selection for every time of five spells, and each uh, spell... Um, each creation will cost you five, two coins, so one... Uh, one try will cost you 10 coins, and then you can you know, just randomly, you can just buy the you know, spells for free then. Uh, green spells are nature spells, you know, gray spells are, you know, rock, you know, are stone spells, and blue spells are water spells. Uh, with circles, those are offensive spells, uh, with squares, those are passive spells. And since we only have a nature fairy, I'll just buy this one. But I'll still look around for any uh, nature passive spells, or just the uh, most powerful spell that there is at the moment. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, come on, uh, give me something with nature. Uh, each spell is one of their own. You don't get to copy a spell. Uh, and there we go, sharp eye. Increases critical hits. Uh, one final time, bird skin. Uh, the increase <coughs> is a defensive one that causes uh, less damage. Well, makes you take less damage. Uh, I'll take that flying rock, even though I have no rock. Uh, not a rock. I have no rock uh, fairy. Oak skin is a stronger uh, spell, stronger, a stronger defense spell, but it has more less uses. Uh, one last time, and then I'm off, and I'll show more. And if Combat and such, and some. Well, we'll see what else. Uh, if you go over here, uh, this door is locked, uh, and we don't have the key. We, our keys are automatically used, and that leads to uh, an underworld kind of thing where the pixies are being kept. Uh, that scarecrow over there, uh, first, when you, find, you first get here, he'll be uh, har being harassed by three chaos fairies. Uh, Chaos fairies are weak to nature and such, so if you choose Cilia, you'll be, uh, you'll have a, you'll, it'll be easy to kill them, or defeat them. Uh, once you defeat them, he will recharge, he will recharge all your ma fairies mana for free. Uh, mana is the amount of uses, uses a spell has. Uh, if an offensive spell runs out of mana, and you use that spell again, you'll get hurt, and you'll, <coughs> the fairy will use its life you know, force instead. And here's a Vespat, a uh, stone fairy. Fairies will pop out of places that are related to their element or type. Uh, stone fairies out of stones and rocks, nature fairies out of trees and such. Okay, in the combat, you know, in the sh sh shooter part of the game, you'll get ditched, you'll get dropped into an arena. Uh, the arenas differ per location and for some battles, uh, Edifin. Uh, you can attack with left mouse button and, dash and charge your attack. Uh, the faster the orb in the three points move, the more damage it does, the more uh, as it is more charged. Uh, flashing red and uh, white, then it's at its strongest, but don't hold it too long for, or it'll blow up in your face. Uh, with rice mountain you can jump and fly. And this is leveling, of course. Uh, don't know exactly what LP and special is. I think it's attack and life points. Life points, of course. Uh, when a fairy gets defeated, 
you will drop either coins or a bag with items, like this medium healing potion. Uh, and I might as well show off the, uh, how you equip spells. Uh, this is the sp uh, sp this shows the spell level at the level of spells that your fairy can uh, equip. Celia has only one offensive spell at the moment, or offensive spell level, and with slight quake. So you can't she can't equip razor blade, but she can equip oak skin. The passive spells are of course sp passive, and here's a free. Oh, did not expect that vest bad, but I'll I'll be able to show how to catch fairies then. Uh, didn't talk about this is the uh, pre-combat uh, part where you get to see your enemies' fairies and your own. Uh, you also get to see what spells they have equipped. You can scroll through them with uh, A and uh, no W and uh, S or whatever spell uh, or whatever keys you are using for forward and backwards. There we go. Capture the fairy. It'll try to run away if it can. And there we go. You can only catch your capture fairy once you have, if you have uh, a sphere of the appropriate level. It'll give you less uh, a, uh, XP though. Would you like to catch this fairy? Yes. We can replace this sphere with another one up front there. Silver spheres, silver spheres will be able to catch fairies up to level 20. Gold spheres to 40, and uh, crystal beyond that. Okay, I think the maximum level is 99 or so, but I don't know. I've never leveled a fairy that from before. Okay, uh, over here I'm going to show something. This is uh, one of the many types of roadblocks you can find. That's thorny bush can only be removed once we find a special item. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> but that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm say I'll save that for the let's play and I will say this I will let's play this game soon oh and there there's a pixie yeah, dodgy little bastards but I got them this one will often try to run in there and as you can see there is someone there that guy is a dwarf uh, three guesses dwarf smiths and such and all <coughs> that's a little air thing over there that's uh, also a sort of well not a block but it can be used to block areas or access new areas and coins and that rock is also another type of roadblock if we go here we got meet uh, a fairy that isn't hostile a human in our, in our garden you should be careful many fairies have taken pleasure in pestering wanderers with their magic yeah, if I may give you some advice, look for magical places in our world. They sometimes cause help from miracles. With some luck, you'll even find one of the most magic yeah, fields near my stone. Like that sparkly area over here. That's right behind that bush. Yeah, these will cause many a thing. Like, uh, in this case, a, a shower of coins. <laughs> Others will cause... Uh, well, they don't really appear that... Well, they reasonably often but not like you find them in every place some will cause mm, some will cause uh, the you know, platforms to appear and such uh, you can once in with uh, whilst controlling Amy you can jump with the right mouse button and uh, you have know, left click is action yeah we can snatch that one uh, Amy can fall reasonable heights but she will, as she can fall to her death, but uh, you won't get a game over like that. You'll just get teleported hey, to the uh, beginning of the area. That's the second pixie. Didn't see that guy. And I guess that's about it. All I can show over this way because we can't go further that way because in the other part of the way there was another uh, prickly bush or thorny bush. Prickly thorny. It's a bush. Boy. Uh, back at the cottage. Uh, yeah, I think I did a better job with this video in showing stuff from Mixonzara. Uh, that little s oh, I forget forgot to talk about that stone I picked up. If uh, let's see, F5. No, F5 is inventory. Ah, here. 
That stone we picked up was this rune, a teleportation rune, which will allow us to teleport to the uh, cottage. Uh, let's teleport to the fairy garden and then uh, see if we can do anything there, and then and then call it quits. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do another rock over there. Later on, we'll be able to find uh, fair, uh, water fairies in ponds like these, but only with the uh, only with a special item. Okay, so uh, let me find a good spot to end it off. I'll just go back to the village. <clears throat> so uh, thank you for watching. Let's show more of Zanzara. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, I oh well, I think I did a better job this time. And that guy over there, he you can duel him anytime you want. His fairies are level zero, but it's a good way to grind coins. So uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye and have a nice day.